Hello everyone. In Oracle Cloud, generally data is uploaded through two Excel tools: FBDI, File Based Data Explorer, and ADFDI. ADFDI is an Excel-based tool which is used to manage a large volume of data from cloud applications by using an Excel spreadsheet. FBDI is more useful when the volume of the data is very large. But when the volume of data is not very large, then ADFDI will be the best option as it is directly connected to the application. As ADFDI Excel sheet is connected with the application, it will not allow us to upload the invalid values. Just like any other Excel, we can copy and paste the values. The user can also search the values just by double clicking the cell. This online selection and validation tool make ADFDI as a better tool than FBDI. ADFDI file can also be used for deleting the line which are stuck in the interface. For using the ADFDI Excel spreadsheet, user have to download and then install the tool on his system. You may face an issue or a bug during using FBDI to generate CSV file for records over 100,000 lines. Now let's go to the system. From here you can go to tools and download desktop integration installer. But I, re I already downloaded it before. I will put it in the description of the video to download it. Now we can try to, before that we can put the Excel options, you can go to files, options, trust center, trust center setting, for activate you press enable and save mode, for macro setting enable and the trust, that's it, and for press ok, go to again for trust center or add in, go to manage, com add in, press go, check that e Oracle ADF desktop integration add in for Excel is selected, press ok, close this, now we are going to try to upload, for example, AB invoice through spreadsheet ADFDI Excel based tool. Go to invoices, select create invoice from a spreadsheet. There is one Excel downloaded. Click on it. It will enable, it will generate, it will ask you to connect the application, you will press OK. Here you have to enter your user ID and the password, because as we said it directly connected to the application to start to fill data and upload, upload it in the system once I entered the processing will be started here you will fill the data what is the business unit invoice number invoice currency invoice amount I will put one two three one two three Invoice date, I will put. What is the supplier? You can click here. 
to retrieve all the list of values you can search for example by supplier number select any one of these supplier go to right you can enter the line number what is the amount if you have purchase order purchase order line budget date tax classification code once you fill the data you will go to submit save and submit and you can track the status in this cell for row status here on failure continue to upload if you need to download all of rows after successful you can also select this option i will press ok now row inserted if you face any issue the system will give you here as an error or row is not inserted here the system asks you what you need to also import i will press and select my business unit and click submit once it's submitted it will give you a request id i will take it as a copy okay come back to the system we must find our invoice in this area as a, a, in complete status but now we can go search by our process id to sell it check the status sir it's already succeed if you need also to check the output you can click on it click on attachment open the log file you will find worker count received one let's come back to oracle invoices you will find our invoices increased by one this is our invoice one two three triple three and you can click on it it will be not validated yet you can complete all of the data and continue the invoice cycle please don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching